If fish evolved from invertebrates, then two groups of animals need to have existed. First, invertebrates, which gradually became more fish-like and gradually acquired features which other invertebrates lack but which are present in the fish. And then secondly, primitive fish, which possess invertebrate features not present in more complex modern fish. As far as the invertebrates which developed fish features, there is such a group known as the chordates. Luckily, there are some chordates alive today, and they are also known from fossils going back to the early Cambrian and even traces from the Precambrian, the very end of the Precambrian. These chordates are significant. They have the same type of gills and respiratory system that would be so important in fish. They possess a notochord, the longitudinal support rod of the first fish. They possess, we know from modern members, the homologue of the liver, the pituitary gland, the hypothalamus. Uh, they uh, possess a postanal tail. They possess a dorsal hollow nerve cord and a ventral heart. So all of these are features which are not characteristic of invertebrates, but they are features of the early fish. And so uh, it seems that in the early Cambrian and even the Precambrian, a group of invertebrates existed which possessed a number of features more typical of the vertebrates. If in the Precambrian and in the Cambrian there are fossils of tuna or bass or trout or catfish or marlin or any of the modern groups of fish, well then these invertebrate chordates wouldn't matter. It would appear as if complex bony fish uh, appeared from nothing from the beginning. That is not the case, however. There are absolutely no fish fossils known from the Precambrian period. The first fish are known from the early Cambrian. These first fish are small, only an inch or two long. They have no bones, they have no fins, no pectoral and pelvic fins, and they have no jaws. There are two types of jawless fish which exist today, the hagfish and the lamprey. But in the early Cambrian, the only types of fish alive were jawless. Now, this is significant because one of the types of jawless fish alive today, the hagfish, is so primitive that technically it is an invertebrate. It is not a vertebrate fish. One of the two types of fish known from the early Cambrian is myloncunmingia, which is thought to be at about the same uh, level of development as the hagfish. And so therefore, the question, could invertebrate chordates evolve into fish? Well, since the most primitive fish alive today and a fish from the early Cambrian are classified as invertebrates, uh, that seems to be more plausible. So the first fish from the early Cambrian are quite primitive and seem to be transitional forms. They are an inch or two long, no bone, no jaws, no fins, and thus it seems that the complexity we associate with modern fish evolved in a series of steps through the chordates of the late Precambrian and early Cambrian and the first jawless fish of the early Cambrian.